Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael, from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. So this is your first, with me at least, uh, Week Ahead Taroscope for 2023. So before we start, as always, I would like to bless my deck of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise. They help you on your path to your highest vibration all good so your key to the week this week um, I'm doing this all a bit backhanded at the minute <laughs> so your key to the week this week um, is the chariot card right very interesting wait till you see um, and so this week is going to be a fast dynamic energetic week it's also potentially going to see you finally reaching a um, not a, a crux point, but reaching a crescendo point. Like this might be a week where something finally comes to a satisfactory conclusion. Uh, interestingly enough, we do have Mars moving. Uh, it, obviously Mars is in your seventh house at the moment. Um, so seventh house of partnership, relationship, significant others, uh, business partnerships, also your um, your competitors, right? Uh, so Mars will be going direct on the 12th of January. And because you've got the chariot card here, I feel like that's probably where the, the successful crescendo is gonna happen. Like this might be a moment where you're kind of like, yeah, okay, something finally comes to a close or to an ease up sort of moment in that space. Now, um, the other thing with the chariot card, remember this card, um, it is very fast, it is very dynamic. And sometimes when we travel too fast, we can, you know, things can get a little bit wobbly. So you just wanna be mindful because obviously the opposite of the tower in the Taroic wheel is the, um, of the chariot is the tower. So really interesting. And I know, I know, I know all of you are like, just tell us what the damn card is, Raph. Um, it is, interestingly enough, look, the chariot, right? How crazy is that? So what this basically says to me is, this is going to be a very fast week. It is also a week where you're getting an answer to something that maybe you have been waiting for for some time. So if there's been a hold up, if there's been uh, information that you've been waiting for, if you've kind of been, do you know what I mean? Like uh, almost like if you feel like an answer or um, an outcome has eluded you, this week it could happen, but it could happen almost like very suddenly. So it's kind of like, you know, when you pull the plug and like it just, you know, the water just kind of gently, and then all of a sudden it starts to really sort of rush. This could literally be that kind of energy over the course of this week. Now you've got the chariot card in your actions and options. So this week you are speeding up, like in some way, shape or form, I feel like this is you maybe stepping towards or, um, Re yeah, like, do you know what I mean? Like stepping towards or really deciding to sort of lean in or home in on a specific um, uh, outcome. Now, the other thing in terms of the options that are available to you, uh, travel, right? This could very well be a week that takes you further and, you know, farther out or, you know, um, into the world in some regard. For your communications and conversations this week, you have temperance. So this is your card as a Sagittarius. Temperance is your energy. And so the conversations that you have this week um, could very well be of not only a satisfactory nature, but they could be quite sort of, um, what's the word? They could be quite intense and it could be a lot of information at one time. Now, here's where this gets really interesting to me and my tarot geek brain. You've got two sevens two sevens makes 14 and the 14 is the temperance card. So there is a satisfactory conclusion this week that will bring a lot of peace, but getting to that point might be a little bit more intense than you like your intents, okay? Now, when it comes to communications, for those of you that are studying or in some form of academia, um, especially with the chariot card here, uh, this might be a solution that just kind of shows up or appears. Um, and maybe you don't have a lot of time to think about it. It's just kind of like, yes, that will work. It's gonna do the thing. This is kind of like, you know, when uh, something has sprung a leak, you don't kind of stand back and go, hmm, I wonder what's gonna do the best job for this, do you? You you know, you rattle your brain really quickly, like, okay, I'm gonna put my hand there for now, but what is gonna plug this up quickly? Um, so this could be a solution that comes to you this week around your studies or around something that you're, uh, maybe even something that you're really practicing that you might find that there is either a quick fix or a very different fix and you're kind of like okay this is gonna have to do for now um, when it comes to those of you that are employed by somebody else 
there could be a little bit of drama this week that erupts out of a space that you're kind of like unsure about where the hell it came from. Uh, I would also say this could be a week where there's some remedial conversation or action that's taken when it comes to work. So if there's been a problem or an issue that has kind of been pervading or going on, you might find this week that you find either a really quick solution or a really easy fix in some regard. For those of you that are business owners, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, people that work for themselves, um, if you so if you have your own business it's true to say that you always wear many hats even if you've got a team you you kind of you end up doing a bit of everything you know and eventually you learn how to delegate this week however may be a transition point so there might be something that you're either having you know maybe trouble sort of handing over to somebody else or maybe you're realizing okay it's going to take a bit more of this rather than just kind of like a, an instant fit um I will say if you're thinking about getting rid of somebody or not working with someone, give it a little longer. Um, give them a bit more time because they may actually come through for you yet. For those of you that are um, retired and no longer working, the temperance card with the tower, uh, with the tower, I don't know why I keep saying the tower, chariot raft, chariot. Um, uh, the temperance card with the chariot could literally see you um, if you, yeah, if you're retired or you're no longer working for any reason, this could be travel that comes up for you very spontaneously and it may be to do with somebody else's health. So you're pulled out of sort of home or out of your routine or off your path in some regard in order to kind of get somewhere relatively quickly. I don't see it being too detrimental, but it might come up, you know, and you're just having to do it and it will probably be for a loved one. Look at that, right? You've got the six of swords. Um, I love this deck. I've forgotten the name of it. I will find out what it is and I will post it in the comments because I know many of you are going to ask. Um, and it was just recently on sale. It's beautiful. The Six of Swords is a travel card. The Chariot is also a travel card. Then you've got the Temperance card as well, which is Sagittarius ruled. Yours is the sign that rules travel. So for a loved one or a relative, the chances are that you're needing to travel. It may be that you're having conversations around somebody else's health this week it is very possible. Now, one way um, that this could show up, for, so for those of you that are partnered, married, or in long-term commitments, it could be a family member, it could also be your significant other. This could, however, also be a deal that you and your significant other have been trying to get off the ground, maybe something that you've been trying to secure or to do and it's like been eluding you and it's just been problem or issue after issue and then bam, this week hits and finally things start to flow and they start to move. But it might happen almost like, you know when you get so used to something kind of not moving and then when it starts to move, you're kind of like, oh, okay, what's going on here? It might be like that. For those of you that are single, it'll be on your travels. If you're gonna meet anyone this week, if you're gonna connect with anyone, it's either someone from a distance, someone that you meet on your travels, or somebody from a foreign background or a foreign culture. Uh, and then finally, for your money and materials, you've got the three of wands. Beautiful, right? So you, the money looks good. I mean, it also suggests that for those of you that have deals, money moves, things that you've been working on towards, that you've been waiting to kind of get off the ground, they start to finally move here. Things start to actually happen for you, which is great. Um, the other thing, because you've got it with the temperance card, this could also be where you're having to either renegotiate something the chariot card suggests you'll still get the better end of the deal though, all right? When it comes to your physical health and vitality, the three of wands um, is your head, your neck, uh, your head and your face basically. Um, and you know, with this much kind of going on, burning so hot and bright, maybe the brain takes the brunt of it. When it comes to your home and environment, the three of wands, for some of you, this could literally just be that you're considering the place that you're living in or it may very well be that you're starting to ask yourself um, about maybe either enhancing the home that you have, or like for those of you that are, like say if you're a homeowner, this could also see you saying to yourself, okay, what am I gonna do to secure this for the long term? All right, with that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care and I'll see you soon.